the Somalia problem is uh, based on a little story uh, where um, you, know, you have a domestic robot who looks after your house and you come home one day uh, and you know, you're really tired and you didn't have any time for lunch and you're really hungry and you ask, the you, you ask your domestic robot what's for dinner and the robot says, well, I have something I have to tell you. Uh, there are people in Somalia who are dying, dying of starvation, so uh, I'm going to help them instead of you. Uh, so I'm leaving now, make your own dinner. And um, you know, that's a consequence of building robots that are trying to satisfy the, you know, the typical utilitarian recommendation of, of satisfying the sum of human preferences. Uh, and it can do the most good by helping the people who are in the worst off situation where you know, they can pre prevent them from dying, uh, you know, get them back on, uh, on, on a positive track, that would be much more beneficial than just making you dinner when you could make it yourself. Now, the difficulty with that, I mean, you might think, wow, I'm really proud of that robot, but uh, now I'm wondering why I shelled out $80,000 for it. Um, of course, you wouldn't buy it, right? So, um, and then if you didn't buy it, it wouldn't be, um, if you didn't buy the robot, it wouldn't be available to go and help people in Somalia anyway, so you'd be kind of self-defeating. So the Somalia problem is how do you design the incentives of uh, the robot? So the first principle says we help with human preferences, but more specifically, okay, how exactly do you deal with the relationship between the preferences of the owner of the robot and the preferences of everybody else? Uh, you can't just satisfy the preferences of the owner because then you have a robot that behaves in all kinds of antisocial ways which gain the, the, a little bit for the owner. Um, you know, what maybe the robot even just steals money from people to give to the owner. Um, you have to have some, uh, some term for the preferences of other people, but if, if you really do treat everyone equally, then the robot won't be of any use to the owner. It'll go off and do, uh, do good around the world. Um, so presumably, the, the degree of loyalty it has to the owner has something to do with the purchase price of the robot. Right? It, it sort of owes you at least that much, otherwise you won't buy it in the first place. Right? That sort of seems right, but I'm, I think it's more complicated than that. Um, you know, and maybe also, you know, if, the, if the world wants your robot to go around doing good, then maybe the world should cover some of the cost of the robot uh, in the first place. So, so you might be able to get a subsidized robot, but understand that your robot may go off and do something more important for the public good from time to time. Uh, so we'll have to see how it works out, and uh, you know, economists are good at solving these kinds of problems.